That's what the Bay is. We've always been this beacon call for this kind of otherness, whether it's your sexuality, your culture, your immigrant status, the race you is, and this is the place. And then out of that, all this culture comes out of it. And out of that culture comes this creativity. But the thing that we want to value is the people that are out there in the community creating that work and carrying on that spirit. That's what it's all about. I'm made because of San Francisco. I'm made because of the Bay. So my job is to reflect our street corners, our grandmother's stories. I work in the theater arena, but in all ways that help tell stories that reflect the world that I live in. Pieces of the Quilt was a collection of short plays, and it came from a um, Delfina group. We created these short plays that we could perform anywhere. And the idea was to let people see the human beings living with dying from the AIDS epidemic. Campo Santo is a performance group for and by people of color creating stories about the world that we live in. What you really walk away with is the feelings and the experience and the things that it's opened up in you. My relationship to the Magic Theater is in 2021, I was hired to become the artistic director, the first person of color in this 50 plus year history of this great institution. What I think we have the opportunity to do right now is make this a home for artists, for people of color in the Bay Area, to make a generative space. Receiving this fellowship, it means a lot. The fellowship's impact on the area, it's invaluable. It's a fellowship that is directly acknowledging the people here, the leaders, the artists, the sheroes, the ancestors, the elders, the OGs that are doing the work because this area means something. To me, that's the great uplift of the fellowship.